Exterior Angles and Remote Interior Angles of Triangles, Lesson 11.2d. An interior angle of a triangle is formed by two sides of the triangle. So here we have an interior angle that's formed by these two sides. We have another interior angle formed by these two sides, and this interior angle formed by these two sides. An exterior angle is formed by one side of the triangle and the extension of an adjacent side. Adjacent means next to. So here we have an exterior angle that's formed by this extension of this side and this side. Here we have an exterior angle that's formed by this one side of the triangle and an extension of this side. We have another one. It's formed by this one side and an extension of this one. And here we have one that is formed by this side and an extension of this side. A remote interior angle is an interior angle of a polygon that is not adjacent to the exterior angle. So it's not next to this exterior angle. Well, this one is, so that doesn't count. That's not a remote interior angle. These are not next to this exterior angle. Angle 1 and 2 are remote interior angles. Each exterior angle has two remote interior angles. The remote interior angles of angle 1 are angle 3 and angle 4. They are the angles that are not next to this exterior angle. Angle 2 and angle 3 and angle 4 are interior angles. Angle 1 is an exterior angle, but 3 and 4 are the remote interior angles. There is a special relationship between the measure of an exterior angle and the measures of its remote interior angles. The triangle sum theorem states that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Well, angle 3 and angle 4 are supplementary and form a straight angle. So we know the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees. Well, we know the interior angles equal 180 degrees, 1, 2, and 3. Now we know 3 and 4 is equal to 180 degrees. This means the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4. We have our equation. They are set equal to each other. We could subtract the measure of angle 3 from each side. We have a plus measure of angle 3 with a minus measure angle 3 that creates a zero pair, and we can eliminate this. And here's a positive 1, and we have negative 1 that creates a zero pair. That's going to leave us with the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4. Whatever the measures are of 1 and 2 is equal to this exterior angle. The exterior angle theorem states that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. Here we have a triangle with angles 1, 2, and 3. We can extend each side of the triangle to show all of its exterior angles. We extend each side we have our three interior angles, then we have angle 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 as exterior angles. Now be careful, the angles created by the extensions are not exterior angles. So in between here, in between here, and in between here are not exterior angles. Notice that the exterior angles are these angles. The ones formed by the extensions out here are vertical angles. This one is vertical to angle 1. This is vertical to angle 2. This one's vertical to angle 3. And they're congruent to angle 1 and 2 and 3. This angle is congruent to angle 1. This angle is congruent to angle 2. And this angle is congruent to angle 3. But they're not exterior angles. Here we have a triangle with angles 2, 3, 4, and we can see the exterior angle is angle 1. 
Angle 3 and Angle 4 are remote interior angles. They are also same side interior angles. They're on the same side. Same side interior angles are only congruent when parallel lines are intersected by a transversal. We learned about that back in video 11.1a and 11.1c. If you missed it, they're linked in the description of this video. So we know angle 3 and angle 4 are not congruent since the diagram has no parallel lines. The number of exterior angles of any polygon is two times the number of sides of that polygon. We multiply the number of sides times two. And we have a triangle, it's got three sides. We multiply three times two, we know there are six exterior angles. We have a square, it's got four sides. We know four times two is eight, it has eight exterior angles. Here we have a pentagon with five sides. We multiply five times two. We know there are 10 exterior angles. For any polygon, we multiply the sides by two to find the number of exterior angles. We're finished with part D. We're gonna move on to the last part, 11.2 E, using the exterior angle theorem. I hope the rest of your day is great, and I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.